morning, friends. It's Nancy, and it's New Year's Eve. So, what do we talk about on New Year's Eve? But what's happened in the last year? What's going to be going on in the new year? So, here I have my 2022 journal, and she's huge. She's too big to get into the space of the camera. Um, so, what I've I didn't make a new journal for 2023. I, um, I decided that I have leftover space, um, to continue in, in this journal. Um, I just thought I'd show you a couple of things. So sometimes in my journal, I would make uh, something and stick a copy of it in here just to sort of decorate it and inspire me. Um, so this collage uh, was inspired by Gail Gostinelli's January 14th video uh, where she used doily, piano paper, text, and a stamped image. I can't remember if she used lace or not, but I like how it turned out anyway. Um, so I, you know, here I made this um, uh, yo-yo. And, well, we'll stop there. Anyway, I, I thought I'm going to use up some more pages in here and it'll be interesting to review what I did in January 2022, for example, while I'm going through January 2023. So I will move my big journal out of the way and I'm just sort of going to work ahead on this new journal that I've started. I started it today, Saturday. Started it on Thursday. I um, had a crafty crush convo with Catherine last yesterday afternoon, and she talked me down. Uh, I was feeling a little overwhelmed by this journal because it was literally in pieces, <clears throat> and I was. I can't say that I didn't know what to do. I can say I felt I felt like I needed reassurance. I'm just pressing down these stitches because um, they're kind of bumpy. So I'm pressing them down. Um, I don't need to do those ones. So what I what I uh, discovered was that. I have done this technique before. <laughs> it's not a big deal. This uh, little guy uh, is going to be nine signatures. So I've got some original pages here that I want to use, um, but they're going to need reinforcement. <clears throat> anyway, so um, in terms of the big numbers for 2022, I... Uh, calculated that I made 23 journals last year and I have grown my YouTube channel by just over 500 subscribers. I am cl quickly closing in on 5,000 and I would like to achieve that. I've set myself a, a short-term goal of 5,000 by my birthday, which is three weeks from tomorrow. So how am I gonna do that? Well, I'm gonna ask. So if you are new to my channel, I hope that you will give me a try, hit the subscribe button, uh, that way you'll get notifications of what's coming up. And if, you know, I'm for, you know, interesting to you, I'm providing you with information, good content, 
then uh, you know you, you'll know to to stick around if i'm not well then you know how to um unsubscribe too right it's we can't can't have our inboxes constantly inundated and our phones um you know getting notifications every five seconds about everything uh that makes life a little chaotic but I hope you will subscribe because I've got some good ideas, I think, for 2023. So one of the things that I think is important to share is that things are going to be changing here. I'm just, I should explain what I'm doing. I've got a 3A, 3M micro pore tape. It's a paper tape. And uh, because this book is from 1924... It's nearly a hundred years old. I want to reinforce uh, the fold of each folio uh, and not and not add any anything too thick um, or distracting. I just want the pages to sort of sing through, if that makes any sense at all. So I'll, I'll just show you what it looks like when it's on the paper. So I'm cutting it down to three eighths of an inch. Big enough to do the job. Small enough to stay fairly inconspicuous. There we go. So one of the first changes that you'll see tomorrow is, I hope tomorrow, um, there's going to be a different appearance to my videos. So I had a conversation with my son yesterday. Well, we've been talking about it for a couple weeks. And, and I said, I need better lighting, I need a microphone, I need, I need to improve the overall appearance of my videos. Uh, this is a creative outlet for me and I want it to look the best. Um, just like the art or the creative output um, through my junk journals, I like things to be I shouldn't say perfect, but close to perfect. <laughs> Long-time subscribers will know that I, uh, I I like a ruler. I like straight lines. <laughs> I'm very exact. Um, so we put an uh, Amazon order yesterday. And going to be delivered today and he said he would come over and help me get things all set up uh, I imagine it's going to involve getting rid of some stuff off my desk because it's going to take up more room and um, getting it all set up and testing he's a good boy Anyway, so hopefully that will help. Well, it's going to help. It's going to help. Uh, I, I'm not happy with the lighting I have right now. Um, the brightest part is not in my work zone. And I have an odd lamp. And, yeah, uh, ot light lamp, a floor lamp right now. And it, uh, yeah, <laughs> I like it, but I don't like it. Anyway, so the appearance is going to be different. 
the content is going to be slightly different. Um, I'm going to continue to do uh, Take Out the Trash Tuesdays, and uh, um, which I've done for about a year now, maybe a little longer. And I'm going to continue, continue uh, with Thrifty Thursdays, um, as I've sort of been doing semi-regularly for a couple of months, I guess. But I'm going to add two more themed days. So I'm going to do Friday, which will be dedicated to finishing up projects that I started and then abandoned. If, if they're worth doing. If it's not worth doing, then I'm going to throw them out. And uh, the other day that will be consistent and themed is going to be Sundays. And um, that's going to be more about journaling. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm sort of tentatively calling it self-care Sundays. And uh, that the first day is tomorrow. So we'll, you'll find out more about that tomorrow. So I uh, have chosen a word, actually two words, for uh, 2023. And my words are try and why. And I'm going to use those two words to sort of guide um, my decisions and intentions in, in all areas of wellness. So not just creative, creatively, but mentally, physically, socially, vocationally, um, financially. So I mean, I'm not going to bore you with the details of my, <laughs> of my life. <laughs> Um, but, you know, I think we all go into our crafting spaces with, with ideas and thoughts about why we're doing what we're doing, what we're getting out of it, that sort of thing. So, um, so maybe we'll explore some of those areas. As most of you know, I'm a social worker. Um, we're not used to talking. We're used to listening. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be a little more intentional with what I talk about. So yeah, I'm still going to tell you what's going on with the boys, what Doug's up to. How my people are at the homeless encampment. Yeah, I want to keep you uh, up to date on those things. I think those those are important to me. Um, but I'm going to take a deeper dive on some topics. And hope you'll find that in interesting. Or maybe um, you have opinions to share about um, things I bring up. Um, so I, I, not, I'm not saying that I'm going to discuss controversial topics. That's not a thing for me. I'm more interested in community, communication, um, inspiration, creativity as, as topics and, uh, talk about what I find inspiring creatively, um, whose work I'm looking at and, um, what I like about it. And to, to that end, I have already started creating a Pinterest board specifically related to my, my wishes and weed chant weeds channel. 
Um, I'm going to put a link in the description below. So the links are going to be to source sources of um, material that I talked about or more information about things that I've talked about. And I've, I, the way I have it planned in my head is to subdivide the pin board into months. So if a video contained um, something interesting that I wanted to share in January, then it's going to be in the January 2023 20, subheading. Um, but I'll also have other subheadings like uh, places to know about, people to know about, tutorials to know about, um, maybe links to free printables, um, recipes that I talk about um, that, that I've tried and tried successfully. And uh, yeah, so if you are a regular Pinterest user, and who isn't really? Well, I know Catherine isn't. <laughs> but maybe we can, we can, in, we can influence her. <laughs> um, so one of my other goals is I want to make, I, like I said, I made 23 journals in 2022. I want to make 40 journals in 2023. And, and, and I've got a plan about how I'm going to do that. So I think with my regular journal output, I can achieve 25 journals. Um, but I also have a number of projects that I started and then put away because I got excited about something else. So um, that's how I'm going to up the, up the ante. Uh, by finishing up projects or moving them along if they're they're not interesting to me anymore. Um, and uh, I think I can I can stay uh, productive enough to achieve that final number. So I've got a lot of other thoughts about um, you know, how I'm going to overcome some challenges here in the craft room. <laughs> uh, mostly it's about organization and, um, too darn much stuff. Uh, and I'll share, uh, more ideas about that. Okay. I need to look at some more pages. I zoomed out a bit so I could show you my, um, what is this? Book press. This book press, um, I first saw it, well, Catherine, Catherine Brown Clark, um, who I talk about all the time on this channel. <laughs> She is my crafty crush and creative muse. Uh, I first saw this type of book press on her channel, um, but she got the how-to from a, another YouTuber, and I will uh, link that in my Pinterest on my Pinterest board. I, her name is C Lemon, so if you aren't a YouTube you, or a, a Pinterest user, maybe you could. Um, look for her uh, by googling or, or searching YouTube for Sea Lemon Book Press, maybe? I just <clears throat> I just uh, coffee dyed these envelopes yesterday and I put them in the book press. So I'm taking those out and these ones that I just put tape on, I'm putting those in. Oh, 
another envelope. Sneaky, sneaky. I also trimmed down the pages a little bit um, because I find that the original book pages are about an eighth of an inch too long for um, the new spine that I'm putting in. And uh, it just, it's a better look if it's just a smidge shorter. Um, so I went ahead and did that trimming piece. This was easy to make uh, and supplies are cheap. You just buy what you need in terms of hardware at the hardware store and two cutting boards from the dollar store. I got these two bam, I think they're bamboo, uh, at Dollarama. Okay, those ones are good. All right, I'll put that aside. Okay. So I have a great big piece of sketch paper here. And I'm going to cut that. I'm going to fold it in half first. And just double checking my measurement. Seven and a half inches tall by five and a quarter wide. Where's my knife? There's seven and a half. So I'm wondering if, if you choose a word of the year. Words that I've chosen in past years have had sort of a revolving theme. <laughs> uh, this is a pad of um, pastel paper. Sorry, I didn't mean to whack the camera. I'm going to see if I can take this apart because I don't want to tear. I need my pliers. This is great paper. I found it at a thrift store. Oh, sorry, just trying to get this book out of the way. Ugh. I saying? Oh, I was talking about a similar theme. 
Um, and I don't know if it's because I'm, you know, sort of an anxious person or a, a, an aging thing, you know. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to say that I'm thinking about my mortality, but... <laughs> Uh, 20 was a long time ago. Um, so recognizing that time goes fast and uh, there's a lot of living to do. Um, one year, my, well, it wasn't really a word of the year. My phrase of the year was, um, embrace fear. So my decision making was guided by those two words. Um, you know, what, what is it about this I, I'm afraid of? And, you know, analyzing that. And so instead of taking a knee jerk response to, let's go on this Ferris wheel. <laughs> I'm just, you know, giving that as an example. <laughs> um, you know, what is it I'm afraid of? Am I going to die? No. The possibilities that, you know, um, the, the Ferris wheel is going to implode and I'm going to... <laughs> drop a thousand feet quicker than anyway um but but in all areas of life you know um you know uh, I've got this problem that I haven't talked to my doctor about what am I afraid of oh it could be bad oh well it could be really bad if I don't have that conversation with my doctor so it was about processing things a little less, with a little less instinctiveness, although I think instinct is an awesome thing, but instead of, you know, leaping to <clears throat> a conclusion, I would think more about it. Or if I was given an opportunity and I wasn't sure, uh, you know. What can I, what's the positive here? What, what am I going to get? And how bad is it really going to be for me to just embrace that fear and say, you know, yes, I'm going to do that. Another year. Um, my word was. I'm wondering if there's a green in here. I don't think there is. Hmm. That's greeny. I don't know that I want all of those, but maybe I want all of them that have holes punched. Mm. Okay, so um, my word was, um, or phrase was, say yes. And that was inspired by um, a book I didn't read, <laughs> uh, but a book I was aware of called a year of saying yes or some, something like that. Anyway, it was uh, by Shonda Rhimes who uh, made the Bridgerton Netflix series and uh, Grey's Anatomy and, uh, and other projects for sure. But uh, I thought that that is a really great idea. Say yes. There's no regret regrets to doing things. At least for me there isn't. Um, 
and I truly believe that there's a, a reason for everything and opportunities present themselves and we just have to say yes. Um, so I'd, I'd be interested in knowing if, if you have chosen a word of the year or a phrase for, for 2023. Where that came from it's been around for a few years now the idea of choosing a word I bet you it's a business thing you know they're doing some planning and they need a, a mission statement or Maybe that's a maybe that's a better way of looking at things rather than just announcing this is my word for the year. Um, hey, these make really great tag bases. Um, uh, say this is my mission statement for the year. I've never been tempted to reuse a word or phrase, but you can see how it's a theme that, you know, I'm pushing myself and, and thinking, you know, taking more of a deeper dive into decision making. Um... I want to include some genuine ephemera in here. You know, now that I look at this on the green cutting mat here, it looks more brown, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not really green. But when I put it up against the green book, it looks green. It's, isn't that interesting? Well, it's going into a green book, so. It shall be green. Just writing myself a note. Okay. So that's why I had that big binder out. I want to choose some pages. That's a long book, Nancy. Is that honestly the front of my binder? It's not. So, because this book is a, a catalog from a brass manufacturing company, I want to look for you know more hardware, um, machine kinds of things. Roofing. I have um, lots of packages of genuine ephemera that have um, bill heads, um, checks, that sort of thing on. I probably have about 20 packs and on my Etsy store. The link is in the description below. 
think I'm going to add this because it's kind of got a green tone to it. Uh, so if you are having a hard time sourcing those kinds of things, go take a look and uh, kind of like that. I think I was saving this for a Christmas journal because it has sleds and a wagon, so maybe I'll, I'll continue to wait. Nineteen twenty one. So I can take this one, put this one back. I think you'll find the price of Genuine Ephemera really reasonable in my store. I don't jack up the shipping costs and I uh, my intention is to, sh to share. So if I'm able to source a big pile of Genuine Ephemera for a good price, I want to share that because I can't possibly use it all in my lifetime. These are all oil companies. Gosh, that's a really dirty one. This is from 1896. And I see the word machining. Uh, I think it would be hard, hard to... How wide is this? Yeah, it would be hard to take an inch and a quarter off that. I could fold it. Yeah. This one too. That one I wouldn't have problems making narrower. company hardware. is a gas light company. Don't want any pink. Interesting. 
also I was wondering if you are making any grand resolutions. <laughs> And they they say, you know, if you're you're likely to be more successful with the resolution if you write it down. So put it in your journal. Oh, here's a something green. What is it? Purchase a purchase of a Rogers radio. was a lot of money. Nineteen thirty nine. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, here's something green. Absolutely. Radiator department. Look at that edge. <laughs> I think I won't pull any more uh, books out. I think this is going to be good enough. Yeah, I think that's going to be just great. for time. Oh, I think we're good. So I hope you found this video to be entertaining or informative. And if you did, please hit the like button or share it. Or if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Um, I'd love to talk to you in the chat, uh, in the comments below. So if you have a word for this year, tell me about it. Uh, I'm always interested in hearing other people's ideas and if you're making a new year's resolution or you have some really great new year's plans i'd like to hear about those too um lastly i just want to remind you in the description box below you'll find links to my etsy shop uh, my ko-fi account my pinterest board and you can also find me on instagram where i am Wishes and weeds, all one word, no spaces, and the and is spelled out. It, it, it's not a an ampersand or whatever. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting to know more of you better, and uh, Happy New Year. Take care.